Mr. Mardoum Ali Khan says that there was no commission uh, constituted by the political party. Is this factually correct? No, incorrect. Where is the document showing? No, no, where is the document to show us the commission's constitution? So that's why I was saying for for a while because they are now uh, presenting it without proper notice to us. But we have satisfied the High Court. And one more thing which I want to say. You know, it's, 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 we will certainly hear you. Don't worry. Because when a factual statement is made by counsel, the way I like to proceed is I want to narrow the controversy as much as possible. If that factually is correct, I will take it as correct. So I always call upon the other side sometimes, ki bhai, is this factually correct? They say yes, no. So then we will say, then the question will arise, where is the proof of it? So if either you accept his statement or you don't accept his statement, you can certainly uh, refer to any document or something you filed, we certainly will consider that. Sir, but one thing which I wanted to request for prior to coming on the facts of the case, the question of maintainability may, I, uh, may be allowed to make my submissions on maintainability, locus standi of election. No, but Shaki, if we talk about maintainability, then you'll have to argue first. Yes. On the question of maintainability. Yeah, on but the then, then the you, you said you wanted some time to prepare yourself. So we are just getting the facts because, you know, we may not have time enough. So we're just trying to save time. So we're just going through the case to understand it. And yes, you can say uh, 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 I reserve my right to uh, argue on maintainability. We certainly will hear you. But we're just trying to cover some ground because probably you're not ready yet. Right. Fine, that's fair enough and we will give you time. I have, but a preliminary objection can be heard prior to... But then provided you are ready to argue it. If you're ready to argue it, we'll hear you. On, on the preliminary objection that they have no local standard to... Fine, do you want to argue it now? We'll hear you. Yes, yes that's a... Uh, ready with it. argue now. Because... Because you never said so. <laughs> that's why I, you said you will argue tomorrow. So that's yes, why we said, that's, okay. Uh, that's about the facts and other things. But right now, the relevant thing is whether they have to show how do they have the local standard to file this petition. Election Commission is a quasi-judicial body correct two, two judgments no, no, of no, this no, no, no let me just correct you here election commission is not just a quasi judicial body it's a constitutional body constitutional it has body. from my understanding right. it has two functions right sir one okay. regulating the affairs of political parties and which is an ongoing exercise and the other is uh, the free and fair elections. Okay. So probably we are at the moment in the first thing that regulating the affairs of the political party. Right. I would imagine, unless I'm wrong. I'm trying to uh, submit here is that it is a body which has a power to make quasi-judicial decisions. It is, it's a quasi-judicial body when the matter of dispute group is. It's so their uh, decisions are orders. They can this, be this absolutely has very recently held in two cases that such bodies have no local standard to file the petition and come before the Supreme Court in defense of their own orders. So kindly consider those two judgments. In the light of those judgments, they have no uh, local standard to be here. Uh, uh, this is a constitutional body. Hai. Uh, uh, ek second. Even, constitutional body. Ek second. Even the collector appeals comes to the High Court, comes to the Supreme Court, when even though it's his own order, he is arguing his own order, effectively speaking. So, ye to constitutional body hai. To just, dekhi, yes. dekhi, then, then, then there will be another issue. Then, then another question of maintainability will arise. If you are questioning their maintainability, then the question of your maintainability will arise. How can you approach a High Court? Then that question will come. Naturally, any adverse order, I have, I have right to challenge. No, no, no. Which forum? The High Supreme Court. Abhi ab pehla apne case suna na? Kya naam hai? APML. वो कानून में लिखा है ये टू कम टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट डायरेक्ट अपील है वो डायरेक्ट डायरेक्ट अपील तो फिर वो क्वेश्चन ऑफ मेंटेनेबिलिटी विल आल्सो कट्स यू नो सर द थिंग इज एस फॉर एस देयर लोकस ट्राइज कंसर्न देयर आर टू जज्मेंट्स टेकिंग स्टेटसरी बॉडीज सिंपल लोकस स्टैंडर्ड सिंपल सी बात है ना लोकस स्टैंडर्ड इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग फ्रॉम कैपेसिटी देयर लोकल स्टैंडर्ड फ्रॉम व्हाट आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड इज दे हैव पास एन ऑर्डर ऑफ देयर राइट और रॉन्ग इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग वी डोंट गो देयर 
and they say if we have to ensure our orders are abided by unless set aside by a law of comp a competent forum so all they are doing is ensuring that even if it's an illegal order let's not get uh, bogged down in that debate if they just give up then the orders will be rendered meaningless is it that the a party affected party which brought the matter before the election commission has the local standing to file but not the election commission like the like affected party can inform the election commission for whatever reason they which is the election commission may act on its own electing the commission may act on the information of a person but now that they have passed an order they are not entitled to defend their own order no. and surrender just what i am submitting yes, on what, like on what basis can you see the case of a district judge he passes an order mm. that order is shared before the high court high court sets that side can the district judge come before the supreme court that in defense of his own order no it's a judicial body yeah. judicial oh, eh, eh, body there, there is, not, uh, there is a slight difference a, not a slight difference a major constitutional difference would arise the district judge falls under the hierarchy of courts to be supervised and controlled by the high court under article i don't know what is it mahdum but what is whatever it is i'm well, just giving uh, an example see nahi nahi koi example lagega nahi now this is a separate body you cannot uh, apply that argument this is a separate body i've given you the example of collector of customs every day they are filing before us collector of custom appeals his own order is come and it's been turned upside down by the high court so he comes before us there are here nobody is ever raised an objection that they can't be heard there are two cases recently in which the honorable court has held but i can't say which are those two cases yes. those two cases the recent one is 2023 pld uh pld uh, 2023 supreme court page page 516 the other one and the other judgment where the ombudsman has uh, any uh, other judgment yes the other judgment is sir uh, pld 2 2020 20 20 20 supreme court supreme court 586 uh, what was the uh, facts of the first case they, they have held for first case but i you let's go to 516 what is the ratio in that case the, uh, yes they held the order which was passed by commissioner and was challenged subsequently before the high court before the uh, appellate forum at high court which commissioner that he uh, the commissioner cannot come the commissioner so, election commission uh, the uh, yes uh, not the election commission that in that case it was uh, competition commission ji but there is a clear judgment the, okay so so how is it no let's finish with one judgment at a time how is this judgment applicable to a constitutional body Sir, uh, can we see para twenty three, page five three five? Why I am putting this before the honourable court? Please, please, please. The whole exercise may be let's read it. unnecessary. Uh, no, let's read it. I, 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 I'm, to be honest, I have not read it, so let's read it. Yes, you sir. may well be right. Page twenty three. Yes. It may also be petitioner to mention here that K N N's food, which may have been aggrieved of the decision of the tribe. on the point of non applicability the provisions of section stand to a of the act has been impugned the decision of the tribunal by preferring an appeal to this court and it is the commission that has challenged the decision of the tribunal on that point by filing the appeal in this regard we may observe so the role of the commission under the act is primarily of a regulatory body it is a quasi judicial as well as some provision uh, as well under the same provisions of the act the provisions of clauses a and d of section 10 2 of the act in our view in resages the quasi judicial role of the commission while declaring upon the divergent claims and allegations of two competing undertakings and as held by this court in bahaki mothsib's case the an adjudicatory body deciding a matter in the exercise of a quasi judicial powers between two rival parties under 
under a law cannot be treated as an aggrieved person if its decision is set aside or modified by higher court under the law or by court of are you equating are you equating a quasi judicial body with a constitutional body sir statutory body are you uh, i don't know what your answer is there is there the first say yes no that it is distinction between a statutory and a constitutional body they are all under the law under the uh, fundamental no 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 no, 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 no 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 not at all a constitutional body functions under the constitution yes a statutory body is a sub constitutional body statute. functioning under a statute so are you equating the two the sir rules are, they the certain principles are equally applicable to statutory as well as the constitutional body if the principle is that a body is vested with quasi judicial powers it exercises a quasi judicial power pass an order between the I, I would call it a constitutional power. The constitution grants. We don't make this constitution. We only interpret the constitution. And I don't want to read words uh, into the constitution either. The the constitution, in its wisdom, the constitution makers created a separate constitutional body. Body, yes. Now, the you may well be right, and I may. Agree with you 100% that a quasi, that a statutory body which determines a matter should not file an appeal. However, it will raise the questions how the collector of customs of etc. are filing appeals. But that matter is not before us, so we will not uh, uh, dilate on it. Can you show us a decision where a constitutional body, preferably the Election Commission of Pakistan, the same principle has been enunciated by this court? Sir, actually, the principle is shared uh, is shared here as well as in other case of 2020. Their ombudsman, the who their ombudsman is also a statutory body. Sir, what they are relying upon is the statute and provision of the statute. Sir, for all intents and purposes, they are acting under the Election Act, and that is a statute. And sir, this, this will amount to this will amount to virtually effacing, finishing off a constitutional body. Sir, no, no, one, has, no, one, no, one, no, one thing is you are now on a very technical, hyper-technical argument for which, for which you have no precedent. The two precedents that you have filed, I'm just speak, thinking aloud, apply to statutory bodies. Here we're dealing with a constitutional body. A constitutional body is altogether different from a statutory body. If a constitutional body feels aggrieved, either you let the constitution body do its work. Probably they will argue that that why is the High Court interfering in the work of a constitutional body? Unless it's something blatantly unconstitutional, I don't know. Whether the forum would be the High Court or the Supreme Court, I don't know. I'm just raising the questions as they come to my mind. But please don't equate a statutory body with a constitutional body. I will not do so. Sir, the two bodies. So I have to Hamid Khan. I was sitting with former Chief Justice Justice Jawad 